why can't they just make us a, a 1.4 zoom lens? Well, although technology is maybe getting slightly closer to this, it's pretty unlikely that we'll see an f1.4 zoom lens on a full frame camera anytime soon. So in the meantime, like a lot of people out there, prime lenses for a lot of situations are still really my go-to. And there's one I've been reaching for more and more recently, especially when it comes to travel. It's also the lens that I'm filming on right now and the one that I now use for all these talking head type of videos for YouTube. What's cracking my photography friends? I'm TK North. Today we're talking about one of my new favorite lenses. If you clicked on this, you'll know that's the 24 millimeter 1.4. And specifically, I'll be talking about the Sigma 24 because that's the 24 that I own. I use it with both my Canon R5 and R6. So it's an EF mount lens. I do use it with the adapter for these cameras. And yes, it works perfectly fine with the adapter. It is actually my most recent lens purchase but already so quickly it's become one of my favorites for so many different types of situations. Recently, Michelle and I went on our honeymoon to beautiful Fiji. I took plenty of photos, more for memories than anything else on this trip, but I honestly found myself using the 24 Prime I would say for almost 75% or more of the time, it works so well for so many different situations when traveling. So all the photos and video you'll see throughout this one were taken using the 24, all taken from this one trip. So why do I love the 24 millimeter specifically for travel? Well, when we're traveling, we often want that really wide point of view, especially to capture those kind of wide landscape shots. For me, I do like to mix it up and shoot people and portraits at the same time. And I really don't like sacrificing depth. It's really nice to have a shallow depth of field like 1.4. This is why zoom lenses sometimes just don't cut it and why I find 24 has been such a great investment for me. A really sweet spot between being wide enough, but not too wide. With plenty of examples from our trip, let me give you a few more reasons why I love the 24 so much for travel. First up, 24 is a great focal length for your landscape shots. When talking about the best prime lenses for travel, I'm sure plenty of people would suggest say a 35 or 50 millimeter, which is certainly very common and great focal lengths for prime lenses. But when it comes to a lot of travel situations, for me, definitely, I really need those wider shots to capture a nice wide landscape. So it's definitely nice to be able to have that wider angle of view. That's why for some landscape photos, even 35 is just a bit too tight sometimes. This is the first reason why I love the 24. It's a wide enough angle for most landscape situations. Next up, we have shooting portraits. Again, it's hard to go up against say the 35 when talking about portraits, but after using this lens pretty frequently now, I honestly have to say I'm starting to prefer portraits at 24 to 35. This is obviously more of a personal preference for me. I find it's actually a slightly more unique point of view. You still get nice shape to people's faces and you can actually fit in a little bit more of the landscape, which makes it perfect for those travel type of portraits where you really want to show off the landscape as well as the person in your shot. I would say from maybe 20 millimeter or wider, the distortion that you start to get, for me, 24 is about as wide as I would like to go for most portraits, which is again why it's a nice sweet spot for landscape and portraits. Next up, it's great for video. If you caught one of my most recent videos, I shared some footage from this trip to Fiji, almost entirely shot on the 24 millimeter. You can check this video out up the top there if you're keen to see more. Ideally, having 24 mixed in with some other footage from another slightly tighter focal length for me is ideal, but I was surprised how ideal 24 was for so many different situations, especially for travel video, when you want to fit your subject within a nice wide open landscape, 24 is a really great focal length. This is why having a nice wide lens for any video can be really important. But again, often I don't want to sacrifice that beautiful narrow depth of field that we get on prime lenses. Just another reason why I love this particular lens so much. Next up, we have that it is just wide enough to vlog with. So this was a big 
win for me that I didn't have to switch lenses again. The 24 millimeters is just wide enough for me to be able to vlog with. For me, I did need something like a switch pod just to extend my arm a little bit but it's wide enough to be able to vlog without needing to swap over to say a 15 or 16 millimeter. Obviously 24, I would say, isn't the perfect focal length to vlog at. It's not quite wide enough for some situations, but it is really nice not having to have to always swap over lenses and still having that option to be able to vlog if you need to. It was even wide enough for me to take a selfie or two. Last of all, for me, it's also perfect for those really wide landscape time lapses, which I really like to take. I do take a heap of time lapses and often I need them pretty wide. Again, 24 fits in so much of what I want to capture in time lapses just like this one. So I hope this video did at least make you think about the 24 millimeter prime. It's a lens I didn't used to think too much about and now that I've purchased it, as I said, and as you can obviously tell, it's very quickly become one of my favorites. I'm actually off on a big trip over to Europe next week and this is definitely one of the first lenses that I'll be putting in my bag when I pack. All right, thanks for watching. Keep creating and keep growing my friends. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. I'm